Hello students, welcome to Allen Overseas. In this video, we will be learning a special factorization formula which is very needful for JE preparation. Like the formula here is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z is one of the factor and the second factor if you just look is what x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. If you are not knowing this formula then just take note of this formula and always remember this formula because there are many questions framed on this formula in JE exams. So let's see the further details of this formula. So whenever we have some of the three I mean some of the cubes of three numbers minus three times the product of those three numbers then always in such cases we can factorize it like one factor is sum of all those three numbers and then square sum of the squares minus product of all those two two numbers. So the first factor for this I am getting is x plus y plus z and the second factor I am getting x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. But you know this second factor I can adjust it like this x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square and z minus x whole square whole divided by 2 because when you solve this you are going to get the same bracket like 2 times x square you will get divided by 2 you will get 1 times x square and eventually you will get every term matching with that bracket. But why I am writing it like this because here in this second factor every term is square and we know that squares are list 0. So suppose if we have been given that this x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is 0 or we can say that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz then what we can conclude? We can conclude from here that either this bracket will be 0 or that bracket will be 0. Why? Because the factors of this expression are these two factors. So if this expression is 0 then definitely one of the factors should be 0. So if we are getting like this then we can say that either sum of the three numbers should be 0 or what you can say or you can say that this bracket is 0 but if this bracket is 0 but every term is positive here because it is in terms of squares and squares cannot be negative so definitely I would say that every term should be 0 for this second factor to be 0 means I would say here x will be equal to y and y equal to z. And the converse is also true for this expression like when we say that x plus y plus z is 0 then you can conclude that sum of the cubes of three numbers will be equal to three times product of those three numbers or if three numbers are equal then you can say that definitely cube sum of the cubes of those three numbers is equal to three times product of those three numbers okay. So now let's see uh, questions based on these facts which we studied here the question is if a plus b plus c is 0 if a plus b plus c is 0, if a plus b plus c is 0 then you can quickly conclude that a cube plus b cube plus c cube will be equal to 3 times abc. But now the question is what is the value of a square by bc plus b square by ca and c square by ab. So if I multiply this first term by a in a numerator and a in a denominator, I will get here a cube and in a denominator I will get abc. To this second ratio if I multiply by b in a numerator and a denominator what I will get? I will get b cube divided by again abc and in a similar fashion can you just think what should I multiply in a numerator and a denominator? Definitely c. So I will get here c cube divided by abc. Doing so it is helping us to get the same denominator in each term. So I am getting here a, b, c everywhere and straight away I can add numerators. Is it really helpful? Can you just imagine what will be the answer now? Because we already got to know that when a plus b plus c is 0, a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc therefore in a numerator I can write 3 abc and we already have abc in a denominator so definitely I will get answer as 3. I hope you understood this. Now if you think that you have understood this then just give a try to this question and just check what the answer you get. Well now I am going to solve this a plus b whole square divided by ab. Now we know that a plus b is minus c because a plus b plus c is 0 therefore a plus b is minus c. So in place of this a plus b I can write minus c square and in the denominator I have a b. Then in place of b plus c in a similar fashion I can write minus a it's square divided by b c 
and then c plus a can be written as minus b its square divided by c a. So what you are getting, you are getting c square divided by a b, a square divided by b c and b square divided by c a. Just look what you got, c square divided by a b, c square divided by a b, a square divided by b c, a square divided by b c and b square divided by c a, b square divided by c a. Are you getting the same question? And eventually you will get the answer as 3. Okay? So how this formula is helpful? So wherever sum of the three numbers is 0, we are getting a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 3 times a b c. You just need to remember this. Even this equation will get satisfied if three numbers are equal and if their sum is not 0. Now let's see another question based on this. See the question here is if 8x cube plus 27y cube plus 64z cube is equal to 72xyz and 2x plus 3y plus 4z is not equal to 0, means sum of these three numbers is not 0, then find the ratio of 2x plus 3y divided by 3y plus 4z. So I'll write what they have given 8x cube plus 27y cube plus 64z cube is equal to 72xyz. So what I'll do here, I'll write this 8x cube as 2x bracket cube. So my first number whose cube is there, that first number is 2x. Second number, can you imagine what I can write here? Yeah, definitely it should be 3y cube. And 64z cube will be 4z cube. Now for me, 2x is my first number, 3y is second number, and 4z is third number. And that is equal to how much? Just look, 72xyz. So that 72 I will write as 2x, 3y and 4z multiplied with 3. So just look, my 3 numbers are 2x, 3y, 4z, their cube is equal to 3 times product of those 3 numbers. So as soon as I see this, what should strike to my mind? It should strike to my mind that some of these 3 numbers should be 0. 2x plus 3y plus 4z should be 0 or all these 3 numbers should be equal. 2x should be equal to 3y should be equal to 4z. But as per the question if you just look, 2x plus 3y plus 4z is not equal to 0. Therefore, this is not valid. So what should I say? I should say that I can only use this result. Now their question is, find the value of 2x plus 3y divided by 3y plus 4z. So I'll write down that expression, 2x plus 3y divided by 3y plus 4z. Can I just imagine how we'll get this ratio value? Because 2x equal to 3y equal to 4z is given, so I can assume this as k. So every term, like 2x is k, 3y is also k and 4z is also k. So in place of this expression here, 2x can be written with k, 3y can be written as k, in a denominator also I will get k plus k and finally I am getting 2k divided by 2k and definitely I am getting 1 after cancelling. So that's the result I am getting for this question. Well now it's time for a homework question. So just have a homework question here in front of you. The question is can you factorize the expression 64x cube plus 125y cube minus 64z cube plus 240xyz. This question you have to try yourself. And don't forget to give your answers in comment box so that we can revert you very soon. So that's all here on this special factorization formula. If you have any queries or doubts, just ask them in a comment box so that we can revert you within 24 hours. So stay tuned with Alan Overseas for more such videos on JE. Thank you.